All right, so we're just gonna uh, gonna slice up the main cod here a little bit and get it uh, ready for some fish and chips. So I'm gonna get it nice and dry here. Okay, so here's my um, batter recipe. I'm doing my link pod right now. And so as you can see, I've got all my link cod cubed up nicely here. So I'm gonna start off with the pancake batter. And I put on quite a bit to make sure everything's 100% covered. So as you can see here, we have a nice uh, pancake batter. And it doesn't matter which kind I use, I found that they're all just as good. Um, and I just stir it around with a spoon. Get it all covered up like this. I used to use a Ziploc bag for it, but I found out that once it started clumping up, I had no control over it. So now I just use these little containers, and they work out quite well. Um, I then take it, and I take my pancake batter. I always just keep a glove in this hand. Uh, link cotton stuff tends to be quite a strong smell, and it'll be smelling like fish for the next two days if I don't wear a glove. Okay, so I get it in the milk wash, make sure there's no more here. And I just put another batch in here to start off. And then here is just a simple egg wash. It's eggs and milk. And I just make sure I coat it once in here, make sure everything's covered 100%. And here's my secret ingredients now. Um, right here is a combination of Cajun seasoning, crushed corn flakes, and panko. So that's just a little bit different. Um, so a lot of people don't use that, and a lot of people don't use the pancake batter first. They do the pancake batter after they do the egg wash. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit on the bottom, and now I'm gonna put a big scoop on top just to get a little more there. And then I got the covered. And just a nice little shake up, use a different spoon, make sure they're 100% covered. And then I'll just uh, shake them off a little bit, I'll put them on this rack here. And that way all the little extras can fall off. And as you can see here, we have a just beautiful piece of meat uh, fish ready to go on. It's 100% covered, and we're good to go. Make sure that's all good. Check all the sides, make sure it was all check good. Okay, so there we have it. We uh, are ready to start the deep fryer now, so I'm just going to do a little cleaning up here, and then we'll get back when the deep fryer is going. All right, here we are. We're back, and we've got the deep fryer going now. So as you can see, I've got all my link cod ready. Uh, the deep fryer just hit the ready stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these into the bottom, and I like to cover the whole bottom of the rack here, just like this. So I'll get the whole back covered, and then what I'll do is I drop it in like this, and then I can add a whole bunch more to the south. One little helpful tip I did read is always put the fish away from you, and that way if it ever does splash, it's always gone. Now, this is the one time I use my timer, and I'm actually going to go three minutes on these before I check them, and I'm just going to let them go right now. Doing a little multitasking here, so I got the fries all done now. Put all the fries up here. Right, let's get them all hot actually. So I'm going to use my tongs there. Help myself out. Might as well have a fryer while I'm waiting. Tastes pretty darn good. 
Pull these, bring the bell to this end. I like to use the paper towel just in case there's any extra fat or anything, I can just absorb it. Got to try to keep it as healthy as I can. Like that. So we're at the two minute mark, I'm just double checking my fish and it's looking like it's coming really nicely here. Give it one more minute and it should be 100% good to go. Got a nice little sample piece here and it's just perfect. I can't wait to do any more here. So we're going to pull the rest out in about 15 20 seconds. Just give it a little more crisp up here. Good. Well done. Get a couple more there. Get back up here again. Do the exact same routine as last time. Half for our share. Take a look, see. Yeah, that is looking just beautiful there. As you can see, we've got just beautifully cooked fish right there. Got one more piece here. Oh yeah, look at that. Just so tender. So nice and tender. So while that's cooking there, we can take a little look, see at what's going on here, and uh, give you an idea of what's happening here. Look how tender that fish looks. It's just beautifully done. It's my favorite way to do this. Okay, so we're going to just get it ready to take these out again. Put the camera back up here. Uh, they've been in there for just about the full three minutes. I'm going to do a quick check on them. Get some fries in the oven here, and they're just not quite crispy enough in the oven ever, so I'm just going to take my fries and we're going to crisp them for one full minute here real quick, and away we go. Okay, there we go, just going to check one of them. Oh yeah, nice and crispy now. Over here, take this, I'm going to plug the machine real quickly, turn it off, and I'm going to let everything cool down. And here we go, we're going to have some supper tonight now, so we've got famous BC Lingcod. Uh, with french fries and as you can see it's just beautiful crispy great job there i'm happy with the way it turned out tonight everyone have a fantastic evening and maybe we'll see you at another meal